engineering. Related to both. <laughs> no to both questions. Uh, or how serious are they? Yeah. Well, so. Um, <laughs> If one hits and it destroys the entire population of the world, that would be bad. And so, so you have to ask if there's a risk, any risk of that in the next thousand years? It seems to me it's worth a little bit of insurance money to put in there to create a, a, a mission to deflect it. And it's not, it's not what Bruce Willis did. We don't, we, in America, we're good at blowing stuff up, and we're less good at knowing where the pieces go. So you want to deflect it. How do you do that? We have 20 ways that we've... Name one. Name one. You go up to it and nudge it. What do you mean you go up to it? Well, uh, you, you... robots. You, space, not you, but spaceships. <laughs> <laughs> so so if, if you nudge it early enough, then that, that little bit of vector you give it will accumulate so they can miss Earth completely. That's why early detection, uh, like with cancer, early detection of asteroids is what you need in order to make sure the future of Earth is safe. And, and, and I've spoken, I've spoken with the head of the Space Force, and I said, if you're gonna defend us or the Earth, let's include defending us against asteroid oh, yeah. strikes. Uh, right. So that, I'm trying to make sure it's on their radar. And, and did, were they receptive yes, to that Yes, it was receptive. It was General Raymond at the beginning of the Space Force. Space Force? Yeah. Wow, I, I, I have one of their jackets. I just... I, 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 I don't you gotta admit it's badass. You gotta admit it. 